guy, a finalist for the album trophy. Um, you talked about playing under Brad Pitlama. Uh, it's kind of a, a rough and roll, you know, physical action. When you think of Wisconsin, we think of smash mouth football. And how enjoyable is it for you as a lineman to, to play in that kind of system? Uh, I mean, it's kind of what you have to pride yourself on. You know, getting those rushing yards is all you can really do as an offensive lineman. Uh, you don't really have any stats. So, uh, I mean, we love it. You know, we we'll run the ball and then we pass the ball. And that's just kind of our formula that works for us, you know. How much better does it make you guys look and, and vice versa when you got guys like John Clay in the backfield, Monty Hall, James White, and yeah, yeah, they're uh, we got three dynamic running backs, you know, and it's great. We have six uh, uh, honorary uh, Big Ten uh, linemen that's never happened before, and we just got a great line and great running back core. It makes for a really dynamic duel. Now, Gabe, I'm uh, I'm an NFL exact. Why should I draft you in the first round? Oh, why should I draft me? Uh, yeah. I guess I'm a hard worker, you know, I'm always, I'm never satisfied with my play, so I'm always trying to improve. Uh, better run blocker or pass protector? I'd say most people would say I'm a better run blocker, uh, but, you know, I have not a system that we pass the ball a whole lot, so, you know, that's not my biggest key. I work on, I work on run block the most. Okay, can you play on both left and right side? Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Is that what you're playing on? I mean, you, obviously you want to play on the left side on the next level, it's where you're earning the most money. Um, is, is that something that you've been approached with, you know, potentially moving to right tackle? No, just right now I'm just playing at where I'm at. I'm not even thinking about, you know, going on, you know, just trying to make myself the best player right now. Uh, talk about the matchup with uh, TCU. Um, for Vegas has you guys as two and a half point dogs. Um, they're undefeated. You guys had the one minor hiccup at, at Michigan State. Um, talk about playing a, a school that you know, is kind of a basically a mid-major for now. Uh, next year it'll be in the in the Big East. But uh, I mean, have you guys looked at that and them at all? Um, obviously, you guys have a pretty big size advantage on the line. Uh, I haven't took a great look at them yet, but uh, because we haven't really gotten to that part of our full prep yet. But as far as I know, they're they have the best defense in the country. You know, it's just really they're number one in a lot of categories. They're number one, they're in the top ten. So uh, very good defense, fast. They run a four-two-five, I believe. So uh, which creates some problems with blocking scheme, but we've had other teams that have uh, done it in the past, probably not as good, but they've done the formulas and we've been able to fit up on it. Yeah, they were, they were on the 4 2 5. That's obviously, you guys have a month to, to get prepped for that. Um, you know, talk about the fact that you guys are playing the best defense in the country statistically. You've been putting up 70 points, you've been putting up 80 points the uh, last few games. Uh, how much of a statement was that going down the stretch that says, hey, you know, Wisconsin should be considered in, you know, for the national title? Uh, honestly, we we were just rolling with it. We weren't even trying to put up points, but we were just <laughs> we had we had in the you know in the Indiana game we had four string people in there. We and we were still scoring with them. So I mean, it wasn't it, we weren't trying to run up the score. That wasn't our philosophy. It was just like we're always going to play hard and we're going to have people play. You know, you know, the whole problem with that. Um, what's more? insulting to a team you guys taking a knee or, or actually playing I mean yeah. doesn't that kind of put you guys in a real difficult position yeah uh, we got a I think we got a yell at when we were playing uh, Minnesota and we went for two you, you went for two <laughs> I mean but I think it's I think What's it's uh, it's whatever coaches want yeah, if he wants to practice well. going for two you know it, it's you, there's no better it, practice it, 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 it's your team you know you you don't there's no courtesy in football you, you play the game it's like and it's not insulting it's not anything like that it's just you're playing a game and whatever someone decides to do you can't get mad you know I think you're just getting mad for a different reason you're getting mad because you're losing or something <laughs> like that but honestly you just you have to keep on playing now. Um, the whole draft process, uh, obviously you talked to some of the guys last year, O'Brien went through it, um, Garrett Graham. Uh, how much have you kind of leaned on, on those guys for advice of basically what happens here you know, going forward? Uh, I probably will. I haven't done it yet just because like, I'm still in the season. I don't feel yeah. like really going into the whole process. and I'm going to dive right into it afterwards, but you know, I still want to focus on my college career right now. How many, how many of those guys you know, come back and kind of you know, talk with you? you know, maybe guys like Owen Daniels, a great, great player. You know, how many of those guys actually are, are able to come back either in the offseason or, or during bye weeks and address the team? 
Uh, we get more real pass players, not current NFL players, just because of their probably busy schedule. But I mean, we got uh, plenty of players that come back and talk to us, but not currently in the league. Appreciate it. Hey, thank you.